Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and today's video. So in today's video, I am going to organize a little bit in here and also declutter. So here in here, I have powders, pressed powders, loose powders, all of that, and highlights. Um, I have thought that this looks like a mess for the longest time and I'm just done and I, I need to organize it in here and just get rid of a few things here and there. I will say that I think tomorrow, today when I'm filming this, so tomorrow, I am getting some new highlights from Kaleidos. So obviously it's gonna be more in here next time you see it, but I do still want to get rid of a few things or a lot of things. I did also do my blushes and bronzers, and if you want to see that, I'll link it somewhere in the screen or on the screen. If you do want to subscribe, um, please do so. If you like this video, like it. If you don't like this video, dislike it, and let's just get started. I'm gonna start off right here. Maybe we should start off with powders. No, I wanna do this section first and then we can do this section. So I'm just gonna move. I know this is cheating, but I wanna start off with the palettes first. So we have this one. This is the Charlotte Tilbury and Michael Jackson palette. <laughs> Um, I am gonna keep this one. This isn't technically in highlight, so I could put it in my bronzer drawer, but it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I adore this bronzer especially, and I just wanna continue using this palette, so I'm going to. Same thing goes for this one. This is also a beautiful one. This is the NARS Orgasm palette, and it's stunning. I mostly use this shade, and it's just stunning on my cheekbones, but I also use the blushes. I tend to mix them a little bit with one another, and I just think it's beautiful. So definitely a palette that I want to keep in my collection. This palette from Stila, I do really, really enjoy. I think it's beautiful. Um, I don't tend to love it on its own. It is this um, like Fenty Glowy Gossamer whatever it's called, but it's stunning, so I do want to keep it. <sighs> we have this one that I'm actually thinking of getting rid of. I feel like it's time. This is the Gleam Glow Kit. You cannot get this anymore, and oh, I really don't want to get rid of it. But the thing is, every time I use it on my skin, I don't love it, so I just need to let go of the sentimental thing. Thing and just get rid of it because I know that every time I use it I feel like this one is too icy this one is too pink and both of these are too deep this is a pink undertone that I don't enjoy so it's better for me just to pull the plug and get rid of it here we have a palette from Colourpop that you can't get anymore this is the dream sequence palette this one is beautiful but the same thing here these are way too intense for my liking. They are blinding. And when I got it, I was obsessed about that makeup. I adored that kind of makeup, but today I'm not. So I would much rather just get rid of it. Here we have the Sugar Glow Kit from Anastasia. And here I'm kind of wondering a little bit because Starburst in here isn't the same as Starburst in the other palette, but the butterscotch is stunning. Um, but every time I put it on my skin, it's not as stunning. It's just a glittery kind of mess, and it, I just tend to get like glitter fallouts all over. This one, Marshmallow, that I actually bought it for, is way too freaking yellow. I don't love yellow highlights on my skin, so nope. I think, I think it's better for me just to get rid of this one as well. ABH used to be my favorite brand. They still, I mean, I still love them, but it's just time to let go. What is this? This one. Oh my God, I think, have I decluttered this one? I never used this one. You know what? It's time for me to let this one go. This is an old uh, BH Cosmetics palette. I used to keep it for this shade because I adore it as an eyeshadow. I'm just gonna show it to you. I don't know how well you'll be able to see the switch in it. It's beautiful, but you know what? I have eyeshadows that I, <laughs> I can use, so I'm just gonna get rid of this one as well. Not too many palettes left. But I would much rather have a small collection with products I enjoy than not. This palette I am going to get rid of because 
No, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I mean, I'm gonna keep it. I have some that I need to get rid of, like this one, this one, this one, this one, I could probably get rid of. And then these ones I need to test out a little bit more. I think they are from Vanessa's Vanity. This one is from Makeup Geek that I would like to keep. But the rest of them I would like to get rid of, but that's for another day and another video. But it's gonna stay. So let's just do like this. We can. Okay, this palette I am just gonna move. This is my pigment palette that I absolutely destroyed. If you wanna see that video, you can just go somewhere. I'll leave it somewhere in the corner, but I destroyed all of these shadows and it's just for me to toss them. So I think we're gonna start off with powders, shall we? This by Terry Powder is beautiful. This is the hyaluronic acid powder and when I went into this I was ready to hate it but I don't I think it's really really pretty actually so I'm really happy with it and I want to keep it this one I want to put in my maybe pile because I enjoyed this one this is from Huda by the way I enjoyed it in the beginning and then when I used it to touch up I was getting like super cakey you know what I'm just gonna get rid of it I'm just gonna be cut throat get rid of it uh, more powders this one I mean I'm sorry this is beautiful this is from palace identity how can you not love this powder it's stunning but the packaging drives me absolutely bonkers it's I, I cannot store it in any way and therefore I know it's silly but when you have as much makeup as I do you have to be silly, so I'm getting rid of it. Here I have my Pat McGrath. I'm gonna see you guys in a little bit more. Um, Pat McGrath uh, under eye powder. Whoops. Kick up goes all over, but it is nice. I am getting to know it still, so I can't say too much about it, but I do wanna keep it. Here we have my milk makeup powder and this is not going anywhere so I'm just gonna put it in my keep pile. Here we have my MAC, um, what is it called? Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation. I have the shade NW20 and this is what mine looks like. As you can see I got a pretty nice dip in it. I do want to keep this around. Uh, I like it, especially when I have like really, really big circles under my eyes. I just like the extra coverage I can get. So I'm going to keep that one. Then we have this one from ABH. Yes, I don't know about this one. I could actually see myself get rid of this one, but I think it, the only thing is that it is a little bit too thick for my liking. Uh, but I will keep it for now and maybe get rid of it sometime in the future. We have the Essence Brighten Up Banana Powder, which is an amazing banana powder if that's what you're looking for. It's super affordable. I don't, I can't tell you how many of these I've gone through. At least three of them. So. This is probably my fourth one or fifth one, I don't know, but it is an amazing powder. Um, it definitely covers up and the price, I mean, you can't beat that. Then we also have the Hourglass, what is this called? Translucent setting powder, veil, translucent setting powder. I don't know. I'm still getting to know this one, so I do want to keep it. And the By Terry Hyaluronic Acid Powder, I am actually keeping for, because I want to have this in my purse when I finish up my other touch-up powder. So I'm going to keep it for that reason, even though it is unused. Let me just see if I have any other powders. No, I don't think I do. So my Fenty one and all of that is in my shop, my stash. I forgot to say that, but if you can't see a product that you know I have, it's probably in my shop, my stash. Next up, we have highlights, and I'm gonna start off with my cream highlights. 
My favorite one is this one from Milk and obviously I am not gonna get rid of it since it is my favorite. I have the shade Lit. We also have this one from uh, Nude Sticks. This is in the shade Illuminati. It is a little bit too like rosy and can you see that it is a little bit pink? It's not my favorite, so I would much rather just get rid of it because I know I will never finish it. I also have this liquid highlight from Illamasqua. I am not a liquid product gal. I like creams, but not liquids. However, this one from Illamasqua is absolutely fantastic, so I just, I need to keep it. I think those were my only creams. So yes, let's continue to powder highlights now. And I don't know where to begin. I'll start off with this one. This is from Bare Minerals. This is one that is actually broken. I don't think I've ever used it on camera and I'm not going to. So I am just gonna get rid of this one. We have the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlight that you can see I've used a ton. I enjoy it and I wanna keep it. It's a beautiful highlight that dupes out the Amrisa highlight. If you have ever wanted that and can't get your little sticky paws on it. <laughs> Here we have my Dior quads. Are these called quads even though they're not blushes? Eh, <laughs> eyeshadows I mean, I don't know. I assume that they are. They are beautiful and I definitely wanna keep them. I think that they are so pretty on the skin. This one is probably my favorite because of this shade. I just adore it so much. I thought that I had hit pan, but that seems impossible and I haven't. But both of them are gonna be kept. Can you see that I'm like all over the place? I don't know where to go. We have this one from Beauty Bay, no, Beauty Act, I mean, which is a Swedish brand. Oh, this is a powder. Oh, this is the blur powder. Um, okay, didn't even know, uh, I didn't even know that I had this, so I'm getting rid of it. Here is the highlight that I thought that I was pulling out. This is a highlight that is a little bit too icy for me. This is in the color Confidence O'Clock. It's, just, it's stunning, but I tried it once and it was way too icy and I just, I don't like that. So I would much rather get rid of it. And it's so <laughs> awkward because I found another liquid highlight in here. This is from Iconic and I do want to keep this one because it's blinding. This one I am... Blah. This one I am actually also getting rid of. I also tried this once and it was so icy on my skin. I actually didn't enjoy it at all. I know it may not look like it, but it is super duper icy. So it's just a pet peeve of mine. We have this one from Ilia, which is beautiful. It's a little bit more subtle and a little bit more... Yeah, it's a little bit more subtle, but it's beautiful. So I do want to keep that one. Uh, we have this one, which is probably my newest one from Pat McGrath. And this one, unfortunately, it's beautiful and all, but it is too, too dark for my skin. So I am going to declutter it. It breaks my heart, but I've tried it four times now. And every single time it is too dark, um, it leaves a cast on my skin. I could save it for summer, but what's the point? I can use so many of my other highlights during the summer instead of just having this, just to be a highlight I, I can use like three months a year. Here we have a highlight from Jouer that is fairly used and abused. I've even had to like repress her because she's been used and abused as i said i am gonna finish her this year so obviously i am gonna keep her around this one i also had in a recent product pan this is from stila it's beautiful it's very it looks dirty but it's not it's just one of those like fenty kind of highlights as you can see but stila made this one first we have these two from cc cosmetics they're pretty, but 
I never tend to reach for them. I don't know what it is, so I am going to get rid of them. We have this one from Nabla that I do want to keep. This is in the shade Ozone Stunning Highlight. And it's a little bit pale, but it's not icy. It's just pale, so it works for me. We have this one from She Glam. It's pretty, but I never use her, so I'm getting rid of her. Here we have one from Lurak. I recently got this from one of you guys, and this is also very, very subtle, but as you can see, it just makes the skin look smooth and elegant, so I definitely want to keep this one, even though it's not as shiny as I might have liked or want. It is stunning, and I enjoy it every single time I use it. Here we have my MAC highlight. This is, I can never remember the name, Double Gleam. Believe it or not, I have actually used this a ton, but I'm wondering if it is a little bit too similar to the Nabla one. Let me just swatch it out because I do prefer the Nabla one. So the Nabla one is actually a little bit deeper than Double Gleam. So I'm gonna keep Nabla and I'm gonna get rid of my MAC one. And the one reason is because of the fact that I will never be able to finish all of these ones up, not even with all of the shit that I'm keeping, but at least that's something. We have this one from Catrice, which I have started to fall out in love with. <sighs> Are you allowed to say that? But it is so unique though, so I don't feel like I can get rid of it, so I'm just gonna keep her. Let's dig into my Kaleidos highlights, shall we? We have this one, which is the Space Age Prophecy. This one is so unique because it is, I mean, it looks white, but it is a multi-chrome. So it goes from like pink to green to orange to, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but it is really cool. However, I tend to use most of Kaleidos like special shades in my inner corner or on my lid because to me, they are a little bit too much <laughs> to have on the cheekbones, but that's just my makeup preference. We have Star Surfer, which we have right here. She's stunning. Let's see here. I'm taking a little bit more of Space Age Prophecy because I turned down the light just so you can see what it looks like. Here you can see the green. And then Star Surfer is right next to it. I'm gonna keep her. We have Skywalker, which is a beautiful um, bluish kind of shade. I used to adore using this one or Moon Cruiser, which is a little bit, they are similar, so I wouldn't say that you need both of them, but as you can see, they are different. And since I have both of them, I do wanna keep them. We only have two left, and here we have Ray Rider, which is their most like normal, normal champagne highlight. I'll swatch it here. They have come out with several of this. My skin is a little bit wet now because I just took a wipe. And then Diamond Dasher, which I have hit pan on. That has a pink shift to it. I have fallen out in love with Diamond Dasher just a smidge. I do prefer Ray Rider. This one is a, a little bit more glittery and you can also see them in the back because I do have Ray Rider and Diamond Dasher as a backup and I'm gonna keep them because I adore them so much. And again, since I have them, I do wanna keep them. The biggest problem I have right now is that I'm putting all of my highlights that I'm gonna keep in my declutter pile and it drives me nuts. We have this one from Melt. This is Stargazer. It is beautiful, oops. But I feel like I have this shade over and over again and some of the shades or all of the shades I am a little bit more attached to so I am getting rid of this one never thought I'd seize the day see the day 
And then we also have this one from Illamasqua that is in the shade Oh My God. Same thing here. I feel like I have this shade over and over again. It's blinding. It's so pretty. Can I get rid of it though? I'm going to put this in the maybe pile and just clean out here a little bit. But first, I'm just going to show you this one because I totally forgot. This is my Hourglass palette and I'm mostly using this shade actually. So I, I like it and I want to keep it. So I'm just going to clean out the drawer. I'll show you this one as well. This is just like a sample of the Westman Atelier. Is it blushes or is it lipsticks? Yeah, it's lipsticks, but I'm going to uh, clean out and then put everything back and then I can show you everything that we got rid of as well. Right, I forgot. We had this one as well from Illamasqua and I'm getting rid of this one. I have too much. So let's start off just showing all of the powders that I got rid of and that wasn't too many. But to be fair, I don't have too many powder powders, powders either. So I got rid of three and I'm happy with that as of right now. So I feel like that was an okay accomplishment. And then for palette i got rid of four as well no three <laughs> powders and then four palettes so two from abh one from ColourPop, and one from bh cosmetics and then as of single highlights we had one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 with this one so i'm just gonna move them i am so happy it feels like it is way more airy in here you have space to move even though i have a lot a lot and way too much i feel like i'm so much happier with this um before we go i thought that we would super quickly just look for uh, look into my foundation and concealers because it's not gonna be enough for an entire video, so I thought that I would just throw it in here real, really quick. So again, if you know my collection and don't see a foundation that you know I have, it's probably in my shop, my stash. So don't worry about that. But I only have one foundation I wanna get rid of, and it's this one from Bare Minerals. I didn't like it in the beginning when I tried it, and I don't wanna force it, so I would much rather get rid of it. Here for primers, I am getting rid of this one from Berry M. I didn't enjoy it. It's not that I didn't enjoy it, but it nothing really happened. So I would much rather just get rid of it. And then lastly, we have my concealers over here. And I thought that I would just start getting rid of a few items that I never tend to reach for. This one I bought, never used. This is the ordinary blah, blah, blah. I never used it. Um, it's brand new and I have no interest in it. It's way too light, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. And then also this one from Isadora. I never reach for it. I don't know why. It's a beautiful concealer, but I never reach for it. So I would much rather just get it out of my collection. And then all of the other ones that I have in here, I enjoy, I like, and I use. So one day I would need to <laughs> get rid of more, but that's it for now. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy this video, give me a thumbs down. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.